it is not very often that we have to do things twice, maybe three times. And I called it, didn't I, Adam? I called it last video at this place. We'll have to redo this. And guess what we're doing? We're redoing it, aren't we, Adam? So already, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get on with the video. It's not our fault. Came down here last night with the customer at six o'clock after work uh, to run through things. And we all agreed that me and Adam did it wrong. And it's not what they wanted. So we're redoing it again. Not too much different, but we've got to change a few things. So we've got the three drops here. They're all being shifted up by half. So that one's going there, that one's going there, that one's going there. Same thing. All these lights, these six lights are going to the next trough over. Same thing, we're pushing them up. Not the end of the world, not a problem. We've got to run our ethernet point up for our access. We've got the chaser, we're going to chase the floor to do the power for the island unit. We've got two five, we've got a six mil, and we've got a one mil. So I convinced the customer last night it'd be a good idea for us to do some LED strips underneath the cab to glow the island up, which would be nice. And also, which I haven't told you, is we're very potentially doing the LED beading that's going to go in and around the lanterns. So, let's get on with it. Also as well, this light switch needs to go here. Already then, so we're going to take the cables up. We're going to try and get a drill bit and drill through and pass these four cables into the RSJ and up within zones there because the kitchen cabs, for some reason, come to here. So we don't have the, we've got the spit. I don't know if there's any nails in it, but to double check. The light switch needs moving up on there. Um, it's almost like we didn't have any drawings with any measurements. Oh, no, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. We got given two pictures. I'm not throwing the customers, I am throwing the customers on the bus. They will watch this and they will laugh along with me. Ha ha ha. Because I did tell them I'm going to coat them off in this video so they can enjoy it. So, also the pendant needs to come down. Literally, you've done nothing right. Hey. You've done nothing right, Adam. I'll just get I'll I thought you had a gold card. I'll just get paid to be here, do you know what I mean? I'll just do this time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> right. Let's shift all these over. So I have to pull them back. Luckily, we did it in DeWalt nail gun, so uh, staple gun, so. And then we also I know. <laughs> God. Right, see. Oh, see, if I do that, it's going to damage the cable. We're better off bolt croppering it, mate, I think. We get the bolt croppers, we'll snip it, and we can bend it out. They ain't yeah. going to come out for life us. So what we did to make sure we didn't get any sag, because one mil with the DeWalt cable stapler, no matter how hard you push it, you'll always get some movement. So we eat it with hammer afterwards, so it didn't slip. So, right. Me that. Pfft, cable went in my mouth. Don't, don't. I can pull this one through. So what we've done, moved it up half. So it's still 75 uh, centimeters apart, which is the Sharpie now. We'll get them clipped up. We've dragged the smoke alarm across as well. Just been on the phone to Lythe Audio as well. Uh, the speakers I've got in my house, um, one in the unit. Um, we're gonna do a master and slave here. So they're sending that across to me for free. I've said to the customer, that's what they sort of want is something like that. So I think I can get one for free. We stick on the video. I'm not getting paid for it. I just think it'd be a nice little addition. And so. You shouldn't call yourself a slave, mate. No. You know I'm the master. <laughs> Gonna make a, I was good. I was going to make a mom joke, but that's <laughs> pretty self-explanatory what happens there. Um, so that's going to be cool. So we're going to grab some 16 gauge uh, stereo cable, speed cable, whatever you want to call it in a little bit. Once we've got the lights in place, which we're going to do now with a staple gun and redo that, um, we need to the unit, sorry, we need to the wholesaler, get some speed cable, figure out what positions we want. So we want two, we want one that side and one this side, just depending where it lays. Uh, if not, we can do one in and around that. So. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like. I've never run it in before, so I've only ever done one speaker, never the slave as well. So something interesting to show off the video as and when we're doing it and what we're doing as well. For my house, because it was my house, what we're gonna, what I did was just stick a socket in the ceiling off the line circuit. But what we're gonna do here is a fuse switch spurred down somewhere off the line circuit, drop it down to a three amp and the new uh, speakers, he said, come with Wago connectors on the end or some form of Wago connectors so we don't have to have a big socket and a plug and a transformer within the ceiling itself. It's all built within the unit. So we can just stick a Wago box around it, make our life a bit easier. Is that about the Wi-Fi one as well? Yeah, we're getting the Wi-Fi versions. So instead of the Bluetooth ones that I've got, they've got a new Wi-Fi ones that it connects to Chromecast and I presume Alexa yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So as well, it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Yeah, so, so it should be nice. Yeah, look forward to fitting them. Bit of a party in here afterwards, fancy it, Ad. We're about to do two silly things, questionable things, let's say. I need to use this on the steel RSJ. So 
I can't remember for the life of me. I think these are the metal ones inside. I think. Yeah, I think they are. But we will find out. So I'm going to have a go with that. And then on top of it, I need to drill a hole in it. And I don't have any real metal drill bits, to my knowledge, except for the Starrett ones. So we are either going to cut through it nice and slowly, or it's going to chew it up and destroy my bit, which is fine, because I can get some more. So first of all, let's go and try and fix the box to the wall. We'll have a look. Uh, it's tried to. Let me see if I can push hard. Wait, them nails I got. You on the right setting? Yeah, flush. I'm not sure these are the right nails. Mm, they don't look like it. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's amazing that actually goes in it. I presume they're just the wrong ones. Yeah, because you can do it. I've seen it on it. Yeah. It's a shame. Be fair. I think it's on the edge there. I think that one there's gone in the middle of. The f yeah, so we'll get them out, but now I'm just going to try. I'll let you record me a little bit to see if it physically goes through, but it might take a while. So I put the camera down, left Nick through it, carried on doing my work. And he says, Oh, it's working a treat, this is. Is it still working a treat, mate? <laughs> my bit snapped off. I will get it round too much. Mm. The best say as well, that, that is definitely not designed to drill this. But Whoa, it was, it was working. Let me just let me get hammer a second. <laughs> I'm more impressed than disappointed. Got quite a way through, way over half. Adam, you needed an apple core. Got one here for you, mate. Yeah, take the cores on the apples. Uh, I've gone into the the wholesalers anyway to get some of the speaker cable. So, gonna get that in a second. Adam's nearly finished the lights and the heat alarm and all that sort of stuff. One more trough left and. Um, we did just have a chat, didn't we? Yeah, we just had a chat to make sure I'm allowed to drill through the steel. Uh, so, and it's, the architect says absolutely fine. Um, the fact that this, that, and the other. And apparently, you know, drilling holes in Sorry. steel actually makes it stronger. Apparently, there's a reason for it. I am not didn't ask the question, but it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to get some stuff. And we're back shortly. We're back. We put a Bosch bit in, which is more designed for this. We've had a bit of rain. But we're all right, because I moved all the stuff out of the way. We've got the speaker cable, which is up there, as I'm ready. So let's give this one a go with one hand without breaking my wrist. Yeah, I'm going to need two hands. This is destroying it. Look at that. Super impressed. Although my voice goes really high when I'm like impressed with something. I like your haircut, Adam. Would you look at that? Oh, got you. Right, nice. Uh, we've got some FlexiCon. We're going to focus on this first. We've got the speed cable. We're going to get that up. Nice. We've got to move that central one. And then I can start messing around with this. But I don't really know how I'm going to connect it to it because I don't have any self tappers either. All ready then. Okay, we're going to line on the floor to roughly where we want the island. Chase is going in. Adam's fed it through the existing cat flap into the house. Nice. 25 mil conduit, we want a 6 mil, a 2.5 and a 1 mil, like we've said before. What are you oh, doing with Simon that? Bowler. Simon Bowler. Simon Bowler? Yeah, yesterday. start doing some press ups. No, with no, it. yesterday he made like a mallet out of wood, didn't he? Yeah. And then he made one like as big as this. Like, oh, mallet. did he? Yeah. Simon Bowler, what a legend. So we're going to chase this out, we've got full depth. Uh, we'll do a little video for you, you can see how good it works. And as well, I've stuck that to the wall with BT1. So that's drying. We've got the hole through. We've got some, we're going to do 25 mil conduit. Not on the, this bit. But as of, it's going to poke out the hole a little bit. I've filed the corners off anyway, so there's no sharp edges. I'm going to do it in some 25 mil conduit up within and end it there. So it's got a bit of containment to stop all you lot moaning at me. <laughs> it's just real world stuff, as I've said time and time again. And uh, everyone keeps saying to me as well, my video dropped last night or the night before when I did all the, the van racking, the Milwaukee stuff in the van. Oh, sorry, I hate my facial hair at the moment, but I said I'm growing it. Um, Jordan got given a heap load for free, which I, I said sound, yeah, yeah, But my sort of thing with Bosch is, not to upset them too much, because they don't make anything like Pacow, I can buy it and utilize it. It's not fully written within a contract as such that I, I can't not use it or use it, but if I buy it myself, then there's no arguments. It's not been sponsored, it's not been free, it's not been gifted and whatnot. I could be eating my own words in a couple of weeks, I don't know, but uh, they said it's not an issue of me using it if I buy it. So as long as I don't use any of their power tools, 
not an issue. And they don't do an electrician's cable stapler, so I can use the DeWalt version. Um, it's the same as the Spit. I can use that, not an issue, because I got gifted it by ITS. Um, so it wasn't through a, a power tool brand. Um, but Bosch, I'll bring them one out soon, so we'll be given a few of them anyway to use. So I won't really be using this anymore, I don't think, if it does the same job. Purely the fact the other one runs off an 18 volt Bosch battery, and this runs off gas and a battery, so it's twice as much things to buy, do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna plug this in, we show you how good this is. Right, that's in. This has just gone flat as well, so Adam's, Adam's just given me the battery for his GoPro. So that's in, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the GoPro on charge. We've got a six mil, a two five, and a one mil to go through, so we'll get them through now. Drill them through there, because they're all the other side of the wall, as long as that one. And then we need to make a decision if the customer wants the lights within the Veluxes or not, because that's another system. Oh yeah, and the speakers, which I've said four times we've got to do. <sighs> so th the theory behind that is we've got the lights in place now, so we need to see where we want the speakers. My bad. All right, I've got to be quick, because my microphone's not about to get flat. We have got the speaker cable in, which is the red stuff here that goes down and around. We've run our own individual uh, holes for it because we don't want to mix speaker cables up with power cables. We've also got 12 volt cables in here which should run to there and there for the windows whereas when we put the trim in for the LED lights. First time we've done this we're new to this so we're trying to figure it out. There's going to be a smart switch on top of the kitchen cupboard here and also the access point is also going to go on top of there. For the speaker system, we're gonna do a one mil supply straight down, straight down to here to a few spur that'll be fed off the socket circuit when they go in. That will allow us to, act, uh, like say, to isolate it and put three amp fuse in it. So that's what we're doing now. I'm gonna put my microphone on charge and jump back in a little bit. Sorry about this. You would have thought I've done enough videos to charge on my stuff overnight. Clearly not. Six weeks old it is, isn't it? I'm busy. We've had enough, haven't we, Ad? Yeah. We're going home. <laughs> my man. We're going home either, really. uh, Yeah, and it's starting to rain as well through the lovely weatherproof ceiling we're done we think we think we're done uh we've got the cable in for the led strips we've got the speaker cable in around run separately through here and here for the two live audio speakers i'm just gonna stand out the rain we've got the cable in the floor like i said we've got a six mil a two five and a one mil that's all done and dusted yeah Okay, um, we've got the cable in around here with some copex going up there. We've got an access point. We've got two five, uh, one mil feed, and we've got the two of that for the smarts, which just going in. I think we've got everything. We've got two outside lights. Obviously, we've had to shift everything over, but now the, the biggest thing, like I said in the last video, we need to get some measurements and hope to God that they don't cram it full of Celotex, which we all know they will. I'm gonna play this exact bit back on the next video when I'm moaning about the builder. He's already been pre-warned, the carbon's been pre-warned, the customers have been pre-warned, please don't put Celotex around it. <sighs> but they're going to. The problem is, uh, and they have a job to do in regs to hit and, and specs to hit, which is completely understandable. But at the same time, how are you meant to have down lights in a ceiling that's full of Celotex on a new build? Because realistically, when we want to put them in, we have to then do a big hole in the Celotex, you uh, damage the um, vapor barrier. Vapor barrier? Air barrier, whatever. The barrier, the top one, really. yeah, but we pierce through it because that's where our cable is to grab our cables down. We then mess up the regulations of the builder's spec between the vapor barrier and the plasterboard because we've got down lights in. Yes, the down lights get hot and it also plugs the hole. So you can sort of wiggle around saying that it's, it's blocked the vapor barrier up again, like you've plugged the hole that you've made, but it's not right. That's why the one that we did last year uh, for our friends, um, friends now anyway, uh, which was the JCC Sky Discs. And they were the big 11, 12 watt uh, discs that went surface mount on the ceiling. We had to make a little hole in the plaster to be able to do the connections on top. But it worked really, really well. But then again, it didn't look as good as downlights. So let us know if you get to this weird scenario where you do this all the time. What do you do? You do well, you could see that the color culprit sat right there. I hadn't even realized, or that might be for the floor. But yeah, let us know below. How do you get on and do with it? Hopefully we'll be back soon to start doing the kitchen because we've actually got a kitchen plan from last video. So we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and we'll see you next one. Take care now, bye bye then. Bye.